And guys, I do put a, um, a tennis ball that I've cut uh, in half and it basically slides over the antenna joint. Um, this prevents this sharp edge right here from uh, tearing the cover. So it was something that I had seen on gold wing docks. Uh, just a real simple 10 cent solution really. So anyways, I'm going to crank up the bike and uh, let it run for a little bit. Neutral. I need to get some gas. Just about on empty. I don't know if you guys can see these lights. Uh, these Kuriakin lights were missing. When I bought the bike, the guy that had it before me never put them on. Uh, he did put them on the sides of the trunk and on the back, but he uh, he didn't put them on the sides of the uh, of the panniers. So I was able to find a brand new set on eBay from a uh, from a dealership down in Florida. Um, a power sports dealership they had them and uh, they had actually the whole set they were asking uh, quite a bit of money for them I made them an offer they accepted the offer which was uh, you know I, I never thought they would accept it but you know they don't sell these very often anymore so they sold them to me and uh, it took me about 10 minutes to put them on both sides the guy that um, that, that had had put these lights on before um, had actually did all the wiring for it. I don't know why he didn't pop these on. I mean, it was like a two-minute job, really. And uh, But I'm happy to have the complete set now. Uh, so, so that was an add-on uh, since the last time I did a video recording. Alright, before I kill myself with monoxide poisoning, I'm going to turn the bike off since I have the garage door shut. Alright, and that's the start of the Goldwing, just to let it warm up just a little bit. doesn't need a whole lot. It's in the garage and it's covered. So, anyways, hopefully the weather will get a little warmer here uh, in the next week or so, and I'll take her out for a ride, as well as the Harley itself. Take them both out for a spin, do some recording. So I'll talk to you guys later.